All right, new area of body of water that I've not really fished. So, one, I haven't slept yet. Finished editing the video at like 4 a.m., something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was yesterday. Uh, this is part of my 48-hour day. I'm trying to reset my uh, clock inside, so I'm going to try and stay up today. We'll see how that goes. But I figured what better way to stay up and to go catch some fish on some new body of water. So if you're seeing this, we got on some fish. So I'm going to explain this quick, simple, and sweet. Uh, as you can see, I'm on a massive body of water. Uh, there's very few times a year with this boat I will get on this body of water. If you know where I'm at, then you know. But I already caught a couple of fish, and uh, today's bait of choice is the Ice Junkies plastic. Uh, got this little thumper tail on it. I can't remember the name of it. I'll, uh, I'll insert it somewhere in here for you guys uh, when I get home so I don't get it wrong, but it's a pretty good little bait. I just missed two smallmouth on film because I didn't think I was going to get anything right away. I was wrong, so stay tuned. A good fish. I don't know what it is. Ooh, big seed. All right. So the goal today is I'm gonna catch like three or four of these guys, and then I'm gonna keep about ten of them. What's that? Oh, it's a gill. Look at that. <laughs> About time. I don't know how much more this one I can take. There you go. Come on, get bigger.
that's not bad. I would keep them, but uh, I can't promise I could. I hit it really hard for how little he is. Feeding frenzy of little bass. Watch this. Feels like a better fish. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a bigger gill. Apparently, he's following the bass around. Solid fish, but not in time. What is that? <laughs> a gill? Oh, is there one of those big guys? There we go. There's one of the bigger brutes. Look how colorful he is. Go right back where you were, buddy. Apparently dead sticking is the way to go. Literally just had to drag bottom. That feels better. But it's not. Guys are getting rowdy. Yeah, they're stunned.
That one feels better. Well, it's because it's a Rocco. <laughs> well, actually, I can get a couple of those guys. Let's, let's go. Oh, big Rocco. <laughs> That's a toad. <laughs> okay, if I catch another one of you guys that big, we're keeping them. Okay, so it's been two days since my 48 hour nightmare. <laughs> I, I mean, it wasn't too bad because, one, I got the video edited, two, I talked myself into going fishing that morning at 5 a.m. when I was going to go to bed, but it would have been bad. And the thing was is I still stayed up that day later than I thought I was going to do. I don't think I even went to bed till almost 11 or 12. So I just spent the last two days recovering. That's why I didn't put up another video in, in sequence like I was doing. Um, but I got this one together. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised that considering I was basically dead, tired, ready to fall asleep the whole time I was in the boat, every time a wakeboard boat or something would go by, I felt like I was gonna rock myself right out of the boat. Hopefully none of you guys got seasick from that. Uh, I apologize if it was that bad. I didn't realize it was that bad when I was filming. Um, well, I did, but I didn't realize it'd be that bad for you guys. Uh, so I tried keeping those times short, and I did cut out a few fish because there were some fish caught while I was rocking back and forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm going to try and get out some more. I was actually thinking about going out and filming today before it storms. Uh, it just depends on how fast the storms move in. So... Uh, fingers crossed I can get out before that otherwise stay tuned for the next video and obviously if you're you know not new here you know what's up but if you're new here just remember to 